Hey guys, so I wanted to do a, another video, kind of an in-depth video on the Bosch ADS 625. Uh, I know I did one on the Chrysler Secure Gateway module, but I wanted to kind of get into this machine and show you what it can do and and uh, go from there. So when you get it, it'll come with a dock, uh, the, ADS, uh, the ADS 625 does. Uh, the dock plugs in in the back uh, and it charges it. You can, if you want, it doesn't have it on the dock, however, just as good you can run your HDMI cables you can run your headphone your Ethernet jack uh, this one's for the VCI itself um, to hook it directly to the VCI and then um, another data cable as well uh, mini USB so uh, a few things that I like about this so I just pull this out here's a connector for the VCI and it has a special plug you can only put it in one way so it works great. The other thing I really like about this is it has the voltage for the car so that you know, obviously, because this is a J-Box, you want to be able to have the correct voltage while you're doing your programming. So I'm going to get this connected. What we're going to look at today is a 2014 BMW 328D testing on this uh, for two reasons. Uh, one because it's uh, European So because it's BMW and the other reason is because it's uh, diesel So uh, those are the two reasons why I want to show this vehicle in specific. So uh, Let me get this connected to the uh, VCI and uh, so I just want to show you as well It has a little light on it, too so it does help <clears throat> because when you have something like this You can actually see all right so we're gonna connect this. Uh, sometimes the voltage, <clears throat> there we go, let me see. Yep, all right, so there we go. So the voltage will show. And we're at 14.2 right now, all right? So I'm gonna throw this here on the seat. And we're gonna get into the scan. So we're gonna fire this up. I'm gonna show you that it works in the dock as well. So let me uh, get this fired up while it's loading. So I just want you to take a look at this. Uh, this comes with one year update, so you get 12 months for free with the machine. Uh, it comes with a bag as well. All right, so I just want to show you, I do have the Max Assist Altel Elite, and I do have the Snap-on Zeus, and I also have the uh, Launch uh, Torque, as well as the Launch Pro Mini. So I want to show you that, you know, with the, with the uh, Bosch ADS-625, this is a viable option. Uh, for a new scan tool and, and actually this is my favorite I go to it and I'll show you a couple reasons in the video why I do that so let me get you on a tripod all right so while I'm doing this while you know at night that way there's no glare no issues and no interruptions hopefully so all right so if you notice right off the bat you'll see uh, your subscription date which I believe is always up top mine's about to expire on August 30th of 2019 um, so we're gonna go in right here. This is where your VCI shows that it's connected. Uh, this is your camera, etc. So it's a droid-based system. Because if you want to hit this, if you had other windows open, they would appear here. So I don't. All right. So I'm gonna go into select vehicle, uh, and I'm gonna do auto ID, but you can do manual, recent, etc. All right. So this thing's pretty fast to, to auto ID too. So I mean, look at that. Look how fast it comes right up. Uh, two liter diesel and 47 variant uh, intercooled. All right, so we're gonna click that. It's very fast if you notice. All right, so we're gonna go and do a uh, special test right off the bat. We don't need to look at DTCs, there isn't any. Uh, so this is this is what I really wanna show you. This is what people seem to be interested in. So, uh, where was I at? All right, so special test. What I like about this is um, it shows you know, each module that you have basically in the whole system. So, um, you know, so we're gonna go into engine, continue, and now it's loading a special test list, all right? So um, this will basically tell you what it can and cannot do. So uh, you have all tests, so you can scroll through this whole list, um, or if you're looking for something specific, you can just go through them. So you have AC test, uh, compressor, and bypass adjustment reset egr adaptation values uh battery test so you can do a battery exchange register 
which is very helpful today, especially uh, with BMW batteries. Uh, you can do the uh, offset value and the particulate filter exchange uh, EGR test uh, bypass for that or additional water pump for low temperature uh, EGR bypass flap or the uh, recirculation. Uh, you can also do fan tests. Um, you know, and when you want to go into a test, you, you can just go in and go in the motor fan. Uh, then it'll bring you to the next screen. So it says turn ignition key on and off. Um, it's out there. I'm not going to go do that, but so I'm going to start it. And your command state is at 5%. So you can increase it. And then decrease it. I can hear it moving now. So that's at full blast. I can hear the fan running. Um, decrease it, exit back out. So now, uh, and then you can go into any other test. So fuel test, fuel pressure regulator, injectors. So you can replace all of them. Uh, zero speed learning, uh, other test. So normal sleep mode. Uh, OBD2 readiness, two values. Um, so Valtronics, you can reset intervals. So now if you want to reset uh, spark plug maintenance, state inspection, oil reset service, uh, particular filter reminder. Uh, so you can go into oil, oil service reset, uh, which on the BMWs, if you've ever done them, they're kind of a pain in the neck to get to um, through the car itself. So, uh, And you can capture your screens over here, which will actually... Uh, save pictures, so uh, engine should not be running. It's not, so it's gonna go into the command reset. Okay, so we're gonna hit reset. So now it's resetting. Um, you know, it's it, it, then. Uh, so anything that you want to reset for the for the test right here, uh, module reset, uh, the VVT. So let me back out of here. Uh, transmission. I mean, this thing has loads and loads and loads of features. And like I said, people say that it's not really strong on European. Well, it, it is, um, as you can see here. So, uh, neutral leaning mode, sleep mode. So, you can go into other tests. And if you want, you can play this in slow mo, go back to it, whatever. So, uh, transmission oil level adjustments, uh, reset learning functions. Uh, perform control module reset. Uh, you know, I did use this uh, the other day as well on a Nissan. So I was able to do a, uh, um, you know, after I did a, a transmission swap, I was able to do the uh, CVT conform. So uh, air conditioning. So you have all your AC buttons. Uh, here's all your controls. Uh, front left heater seat buttons. So these are all special tests that you can do. All right, so tons of them, tons of them. Again, I love my Altel, but when I got this, this this has been my go-to. Um, and then, uh, so what you can also do too as well is maintenance tests, and this is the same thing I did with the oil, just a different way to get in it. Uh, but this shows every maintenance. So battery charging, brake service, um, service light reset, steering service, TPM registration, TPMS registration, glass replacement for the sensors in the glass, um, you know, all that stuff. So th this thing can do a lot. One of the great things that I like about it, so we're going to go into DTCs. And I don't want to make this video uh, 20 minutes long, but I want you guys to see how great this tool is. It's a fantastic, fantastic tool for the money. Um, so I just did engine and transmission just so I can kind of see what's going on. So no DTCs, obviously I knew there was no codes, but once you get to this point, I'll show you. So it gives you a little little report. You can share it or save it. There's nothing to save, so I'm gonna hit back. But the other thing is data stream. So the data stream is very, very nice too. So um, I'll do engine. So, and you can see right here, you're connected still. So if you have any doubt, the explanation point, don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. Um, so, 
So right here you can see, all right, engine one, two, three, four, select or customize. So here's your engine data. So engine data one, it tells you exactly what's there. Engine data two, exactly what's there. Uh, three and four. So that way you, you, you don't have a, a ton of PIDs all at once. So what better way to do this is we'll say, all right, I want engine data one. And I'm, I'm not gonna customize, I'm just gonna select it all. So I'm gonna do the whole, uh, the whole all of module one. So, and look how fast it is. Nothing in here indicated that this is a slow machine. It's very, very fast. Um, it's very thin, it's very light, it's very ergonomic. So the car is not running, obviously, I'll go turn it on, but you can select uh, the PIDs. And down here you have buffering data. So the buffering data will carry on for 200 frames, all right? So uh, you can go back if you miss something uh, during the uh, PIDs, so during the live data. So let me go turn the car on. Right, so the car's running, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get our data, so we're gonna expand it. And this is gonna get all of our values. So they're all graphed out here. Let me go back, actually. I'm gonna shrink it all. So uh, once it starts running, you can see the data pits are here just, just like the Snap-on is. It's all right next to each other. They're really nice, really nice setup, exactly kind of like the Snap-on, except uh, when you go in there to expand, you have all your data here as well. So this is gonna give you a min, max, and actual, all right? So uh, you can see over here, engine speed. 782 is the low, and then 778 is the, I mean, high, and then 778 is the low, and now it's at 780, all right? And if you want, on top of it, once you do this, you can play it back if you want, or you can go into here, and you say, you know what, maybe I want this one to be red so it stands out. All right, so that's the data pit I'm really interested in. I'm gonna make it red, it's gonna stand out. All right, so this one you might say, all right, I wanna do a line graph. Um, it's already a line graph, never mind, uh, bar graph. So now it'll do the low average high, it's got the bar graph. Um, you know, and you can do that for the rest of them too. And if you wanna get rid of one, um, like let's say, all right, I'm not moving. Let's get rid of vehicle speed. Get it out of there. So once you uncheck it, it'll no longer uh, bring the data into the system. So uh, you can sort it as well um, if you want up and down. So you can view by alpha, graph, or view selected. So, um, you know, and then you have the more button, which is erase all recordings, clear data. If you want to start over, take screen captures or use metric units. So um, you have all that. So. We're gonna get out of here, you know, so that's that. So the data stream is very, very valuable, uh, especially that it has the buffer in it, and, uh, you know, and things like that. So uh, I'm gonna go home, so I'm gonna select home. So return to main menu, boom. So we're out of the, out of the vehicle, okay? <clears throat> um, what I wanna show you now is, uh, let me go back in. I'm gonna auto ID it again. So you'll see how fast it is, so, and I'm doing this uh, specifically so that I'm not doing one that I remembered. So let me go into system diagrams. So this comes with two things. As long as you have a, a subscription, it comes with uh, repair data and it comes with wire diagrams. So you can play around with these and see what you kind of want to use, you know. So let's say we want to go into air conditioning circuit. So you click on that and it'll actually bring up the diagram that looks kind of like Mitchell. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. So you can actually use your hands to open it up. So you can actually see, all right, it says uh, air conditioning panel, uh, audio control panel. It's red and brown, brown and white, blue and white. So you have the wiring diagrams right at the touch of your fingertips, which is pretty awesome. I mean, this comes with the tool. What other tool? gives you this. None of them that I know of. So here we go. Left foot well temperature sensor, brown and white and brown and black. So if that's something you're looking for, it's right in the palm of your hand. So uh, you can pretty much do this with, you know, anything. So uh, it has it has tons of tons of wiring diagrams and they're actually pretty good to read. So if you have an issue with the defogger, you have your wiring diagram right here. So you can bring it up, uh, heated mirrors, so, um, so yeah, so that's that. So I can go into repair source right here and this is what I was telling you about. So it comes with wire and diagrams and report, repair source. 
Uh, so it's gonna open it up. Like I said, it's free to you as long as you keep your subscription current. I mean, what's better than this? It already has the uh, year, make, and model of your car. It's already inputted in there. Um, you know, if you're doing something, even as little as brakes, I mean, you can come in here and look at what's the brake procedure to bleed them, all right? So it gives you a diagram in which to bleed them in what order, all right? So it tells you a sequence, special procedures, um, aftermarket approach. If it's in there, it'll be in there. Um, you can come into uh, engine management. So, and then um, computer relearn procedures. So here's here's your control modules, all right? So, um, so then it'll bring up figures and you can drop that down if you don't wanna look at the figures. Um, but connect the suitable program diagnostic system, switch the ignition on, start encoding program. So it'll literally walk you through everything. Um, you know, vacuum hoses. So anybody that doesn't want to pay for Mitchell or all data, think about it. So you can pay for the update where you get, you know, one year for free, but after that, you pay for your up, update and you get all this information for free. So, you know, somebody that might not need all data or Mitchell or something, you know, where it's monthly, um, you know, and just need something to get them by, you know, this is, this is great. I mean, it's got the maintenance schedule. Um, you know, I can go into normal service and it's all intuitive. So, you know, depending on what you click, that's, that's what's going to come up on the screen. So, you know, you can go into uh, serpentine diagram routing. Let's see. I think what, yeah, wiring diagrams are back in here too. So you can go right into, you know, repair data if you want. So, you know, you can go into components. All right. So, and then here's the listing. So, okay. All right, so um, here's the uh, wire diagrams for that stuff. So pretty awesome machine. Uh, so you have that. All right, so let me go through the settings for you too um, as well. So uh, actually, you know what? I'll leave this up. So another way, like I said, you can get out of this is you hit the square. Now it comes up, and now you can go right back into your scanner program. All right, so, so repair source, uh, key programming, uh, battery disconnect uh, so you know it's got a lot of different things in here which is is pretty cool so uh, remote and central alarm locking battery replacement and then uh, immobilizer so let me get out of here uh, battery disconnect location info uh, location info all right so let me go through the list so you can see that so again, I don't want to make this a super long video. I'll, I'll do some more uh, with it in action, but I just want you to see that, you know, you can read DTCs, you get a data stream, uh, automated system test, maintenance uh, test, special test, diag info, wiring diagrams, and then you got your enhanced uh, OBD2. So, <clears throat> you know, it's uh, building my list of controls right now after I went to the automated system test. All right, so reading DTCs. So yeah, like I said, I, I wanted to make this video. I, I know this is starting to get a little bit popular out there. Um, this uh, ADS 625, it, it's a great scanner. Great, great scanner. You know, and it, it does everything that I need it to do. You know, I got, I know uh, uh, a couple people have it out there. Uh, Keith DeFazio has it. Uh, Joe's Auto Electric uh, has one. South Main Auto has one. So you know these these are being used by quite a few people in the uh, in the in the automobile world. I'm gonna go through this whole list, but it'll give you pretty much you know if you stop, uh, which is awesome because you some scanners you can't do that, but you can stop and I'll gather a report that you you know to wherever you got to. But I just want to show you this. So uh, so this automated test says DTC is found, um, you know, and it'll tell you you know all your snapshots and. Mode ones, I cancel it all out, but you can go through it to I am readiness and, and all that stuff. So, um, but then you can have your, your save data. So, you know, here's your, you know, the cars that you worked on and stuff. Um, so you can go in and get that, uh, web browser. All right. So it has that, you know, and I can go into, I can go into my Mitchell, you know, I'm not signed into it, but if you have Mitchell, you can get into it from there. So. So yeah, so guys, I, I can't stress to you enough uh, how awesome this scanner is. So like I said, you know, if you, if, you know, 
you you can go with the uh, the elite. You can go with the the snap on. You know why why pay pay the money for that? You know when when the Bosch is is just as good, if maybe even better. I don't know. You know the Altel Elite's good. It does a lot of key program and stuff like that. Uh, but for your everyday uh, you know everyday diag and working on cars and and getting PIDs list and you know everything else, it's uh, really really user friendly. So and let me pull it out. So. This is it right here. Let me back you up a little bit. So it's relatively pretty thin. So compared to the uh, the maxi cyst, so that's them on top of each other. So they're just about the same size. You know, maybe the Bosch is a little bit thicker, but the screen is uh, is definitely bigger. And it's, this Bosch is a lot lighter in my hand, so it's pretty easy to hold in one hand and use it. So. Uh, but I, I like this scanner a lot, and obviously the the Zeus, you know, has the scope on it. It doesn't have a scope on it, but there's a lot better options out there as far as that goes. Um, you know, like like I have uh, the Maxi Scope, uh, which works pretty well. Um, so I upgraded the leads to the uh, Pico Scope leads. Um, you know, and then I got the Pico Scope leads here. So, you know, there's, there's other options. Um, you can get something like this, which is the uh, 4425 4 channel, you know, and stuff like that. So um, that's that's what I would do if I were you. I would go with the uh, Bosch ADS 625 and, um, you know, get get a, a dedicated scope if you, if you need one. So um, this is nice because the uh, VCI box sits there too. So uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for more videos. I'm going to be using this machine a lot. Um, like I said, this is my go-to machine, and uh, it should be yours too if, if, if you're in the market for one. So you know, I'm, I'm really excited about it, and that's why I want to share this video with you. Uh, you can breeze through it if you want or, or do whatever. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, subscribe, and I'll get more data out there uh, on this stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask as well. Uh, have a happy fourth, guys. Thanks.